Next job on the list is to replace this head lining. But as you can see, it's going to need cutting down because the uh, cutout for the roof comes quite a way forward. So what we're going to do is get the uh, roof lining back in, mark it all out, cut it all out and then refit it. But before I do that, I've got a reversing camera. Because we've got no rear sensors and we've got no windows, I thought it was probably wise to put a reversing camera in. All I want to do is get that cable through that flex. And I've been messing around for the last 45 minutes trying to do it. What a nightmare. When I plug this in, we should have some power. Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Don't know what's going on there then. Do some fault finding. I give up. I don't know what's wrong with it. I've checked that it's got power. I've taken the back off to make sure it's got power to it. I've checked the camera in the back to make sure that's got power to it. They both have. So I've called the bloke. He's going to send me another one because it looks like I've got a faulty one. So when that comes, I'll get all this sorted out. In the meantime, I'll put the headliner back up and then my camera's ready to be mounted to the windscreen with a little on and off switch just there. There, that's the camera in. Uh, turns out it was a dodgy camera on the back. It wasn't working, so I've replaced that and we're all working now. I've put it on a switch so you can turn it on and off while you're driving. Some people might want to use it as a rear view mirror. Some people might find it distracting. Uh, and I've also wired it into the cabin light power because eventually the cabin light power goes off. So if you accidentally leave the camera on, it won't drain your battery. A bit of a diversion today from the van build. I'm going to go and see an, a friend of mine who is starting his first van build. And he's got to the uh, electrics and he's a bit bamboozled. So here it is. All right, mate, are you? George and Jade, YouTube, YouTube, George and Jade. Now we're getting on. A little bit to do. Yeah, well, that's what I'm here for. It's all about knowing which battery to get for yeah. the start. There's two in there, is it? But he's, apparently this is a ledger battery at the back. Well, Gareth said, the, the parts guy said that he doesn't think they're the right batteries for the van, but a lot of people are saying different things. Well, the, the difference between a, a, a car battery and a ledger battery is is a uh, leisure battery is for slow draining mm -hmm. so they're designed to draw to to discharge their power slowly yeah whereas a car battery is designed to give a, a short burst of high energy a to turn battery. over a big yeah. diesel engine oh, okay, so okay. They're, they're, they're different batteries that they're, they're built oh my gosh i didn't anticipate it was going to be this complicated when we <laughs> when we signed up for this no. relay and we'll charge the leisure okay, battery yeah. and then that will charge that battery. They can be anything. As long as it's 12 volt, they can be anything. Another one of your circuits from your fuse board can be a USB circuit. Same as we've you done the sockets yeah, so and the spotlights. You go into one, one and out. This is, is powering up the whole fuse board. So it comes in there, so the black one then goes back to the battery. So this and now we've got a circuit, you see, that's got a switch on it. The cable doesn't have to be very big anymore because yeah. it's only feeding that one circuit. So in your setup, We've got that same red cable, it's coming to the top. Spot on car, mate. That's right, mate. Yeah, yes. really good. You're slowly yeah. getting it. So, there we go, that's got them sorted. He's on his way now. Uh, he's going to get it all boarded out and then I'll come back and we'll talk him through the electrics again because no doubt he will have forgotten everything I've just told him. Uh, it, it, and you do get to those stages with projects like that where something you're unsure of can stop the whole project because you don't want to do something and then have to undo it but i think he's a bit clearer now so better get it back on with my build new wheels i haven't actually seen these yet so i'm quite excited here we go the big reveal what wheels are going on the Volkswagen Transporter? Oh, fantastic! 
They're going to look really cool, they are. They are really going to transform the van. The 19 inch satin black alloys. I've gone with satin black, so I'm going to put a satin black stripe down the side of it. They've not got a mark on them. They don't look as if they've had a very hard life at all. Um, so let's get them on the van, see how they look. Eighty, hundred, one twenty, hundred and thirty three pounds per foot. I think you'll agree that looks pretty damned awesome. Thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you loved it. Next week, I'm going to be doing the carpeting, so don't miss out on that. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.